We're talking to Dr. James Baxter, and the issue is African Americans in public education. And of course, uh, Dr. Baxter, I think in uh, your overview, yes. uh, during that first segment, you sort of laid out uh, the uh, situation that at least one African American faced sure. uh, in, uh, in public education and how you ha have been able to overcome. Right. But in many instances, a large number of Africans have not been able to overcome as, as the two of us have, for example. Yes. And so what we'd like to do is to start uh, at the uh, period immediately after slavery and talk about some of the education options that Africans had at that particular time. Well, very good. In doing so, Dr. Haney, the, the year January the 1st, 1862, it's very important in these United States of America mm -hmm. and especially for people of color. Mm -hmm. On that particular date, Abraham Lincoln issued by executive order Emancipation Proclamation. Mm -hmm. Now, what that particular executive order did for people of color, it freed them and only those who were in areas of the South mm -hmm. and borderline states that had been conquered mm -hmm. by Union forces. Mm -hmm. Now, after January 1st, 1862, at the end of the war, mm -hmm. the country is faced with a dilemma mm -hmm. in that the war was fought for the most part mm -hmm. in the Southern region of the United States Good. of America. Mm -hmm. We know that the economy of the South was based on agriculture. We also know that cotton had been king. Mm -hmm. uh, we also know that Eli Whitney revolutionized mm -hmm. the cotton industry with his invention of the cotton gene. Mm -hmm. It made uh, for cotton to be what? Mass produced. Mm -hmm. Now, mm -hmm. when we think in terms of growing and harvesting cotton, you needed a suitable uh, a labor, labor force. force. Amen. <clears throat> so Slavery true. was on his deathbed. Mm -hmm. And and the founding fathers, those who were delegates at the Constitutional Convention, mm -hmm. that's why they did not abolish slavery mm -hmm. then, because they felt they knew that slavery was on his deathbed mm -hmm. because it could not be mass produced. Mm -hmm. So they gave it 20 years mm -hmm. from 1787 and so slavery mm -hmm. would, 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 would no longer exist mm -hmm. because uh, it, the cotton could not be mm -hmm. mass produced. But Eli Whitney invented the cotton this cotton gene. gene. Mm -hmm. So now there is a need mm -hmm. uh, for continued uh, slave labor. So therefore you have these slaves working uh, on, on, on plantations of the South. Uh, they were forbidden uh, to know how to read and write. It was against the order of the day for anyone to teach slaves to read and write. Mm -hmm. Slave masters used the Bible to justify mm -hmm. that institution of slavery. Well, after January 1 it comes an Emancipation Proclamation. Mm -hmm. Then, of course, the Civil War comes to an end. Mm -hmm. The dilemma of the South is such as this. You have now emancipated 3.5 million mm -hmm. slaves. All they've ever known mm -hmm. has been this particular institution, formerly known as slavery. Mm -hmm. Now, what do we do? The federal government is posed with this problem. What do we now do with 3.5 million plus mm -hmm. freedmen? Okay. Yeah. Where will they go? Where will they live? Mm -hmm. Well, when we look at them, some of them left the plantation for the most part. Mm -hmm. Some of them traveled the country. They went west. They went east. Mm -hmm. So many mm -hmm. stayed on the plantation or stayed in the south, and they also went north. Mm -hmm. Then, of course, uh, there were those who received education mm -hmm. in the north mm -hmm. because of those who were part of northern missionary mm -hmm. societies mm -hmm. taught them how to read and how to write. Mm -hmm. This education that was given to some of, uh, of those individuals mm -hmm. in the north gave rise for individuals mm -hmm. such as Phyllis Wheatley, mm -hmm. Sojourner True, mm -hmm. Benjamin Banneker. Mm -hmm. So we do have mm -hmm. freed men and women becoming educated. Mm -hmm. Well, then we now move then into the period known as what? Mm -hmm. Reconstruction. Mm -hmm. The radical Republicans mm -hmm. in Congress when the federal government took over, when, when Congressional mm -hmm. Reconstruction 
began in the mm -hmm. South mm -hmm. due to some problems mm -hmm. with the Lincoln Plan, mm -hmm. the Johnson Plan. Mm -hmm. Congress begins to make radical changes mm -hmm. in the South mm -hmm. in order to protect mm -hmm. 3.5 million mm -hmm. plus former slaves. Mm -hmm. Well, they established what becomes known as mm -hmm. the Freedmen's Bureau. Mm -hmm. The Freedmen's Bureau did not only service the freedmen, mm -hmm. but we must understand that there was a large underclass of poor whites mm -hmm. in the South. Mm -hmm. They could not read. Mm -hmm. They could not write. Mm -hmm. The only people who were really who were educated in the South mm -hmm. were the children of the of the of the of the of, the, of Southern aristocracy, yeah, yeah, slave yeah. masters. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, they had the money, Doctor Haney. Mm -hmm. They would send their sons and daughters to the Northeast mm -hmm. to attend the elementary schools mm -hmm. there. And then for the former training, they could send them mm -hmm. to the other fluent colleges and universities in the Northeast. And some even sent their sons and daughters to be, to be, to be trained mm -hmm. in Europe, Europe for yeah. the higher education. Mm -hmm. Now, when we look then at the Freedmen's Bureau, mm -hmm. they established schools mm -hmm. for poor whites as well as the freedmen. Mm -hmm. Now, when we, when, we, when, we, when we also look at the education mm -hmm. of freedmen, uh, the missionary societies from the North, mm -hmm. they too came south mm -hmm. to further educate mm -hmm. the freedmen and poor whites. Not only that, blacks saw the need mm -hmm. to take care of one mm -hmm. another mm -hmm. by way of the black church. Mm -hmm. As black churches were established, mm -hmm. the AME Church, mm -hmm. the CME Church, mm -hmm. Independent Baptist Church, mm -hmm. our churches saw the need mm -hmm. to further educate mm -hmm. the freedmen in the South. Mm -hmm. So then it gave rise mm -hmm. to church established mm -hmm. uh, colleges mm -hmm. who later become universities, mm -hmm. schools mm -hmm. such as mm -hmm. Fisk University, mm -hmm. Lane College, mm -hmm. Philander Smith mm -hmm. over in your beloved Arkansas, mm -hmm. Morehouse College, and the rest becomes history. Mm -hmm. And then, of course, as we move forward, mm -hmm. comes the other uh, historically mm -hmm. black colleges mm -hmm. and universities. And, of course, we'll stop uh, right there for this uh, commercial break, uh, Dr. Baxter, but that's essentially what we want to have, with such a poetic uh, descri description yes. in terms of what actually happened uh, during uh, this period. And we'll pick up at that point very following good. this very, very short commercial break. And we'll be back with you following this very, very short uh, commercial break.